Hello, my friends. Uh, good morning. Very good morning to all of you in this beautiful, beautiful day of life. This is Jeanette from Makeup Artist filming from San Antonio, Texas. Getting ready for this new makeup tutorial day. As you already know, I am a pro makeup artist, a stationery in the city of San Antonio, Texas, and I thought all of my video 4k using i would like to say 60 percent of natural light and 40 or 50 percent of artificial light for the quality of image and for the product performance but mainly if for the image for you i welcome all of you if there is not because of you my friends i wouldn't be here right now motivated happy and doing what i can do best giving giving knowledge teaching you because that is the only purpose of my channel to exist is to teach techniques to teach product performance to teach quality depending on the type of skin you might have in order for you to get an idea if you haven't had the chance to try another product or you are looking for something and you couldn't find you know the right product for you this is what i try to do here teaching you options okay using my face 100 percent as a canvas uh, for the purpose i invite you please to subscribe to my channel like and comment i invite you to stay with me please as i begin in a new makeup tutorial day a very quick um a resume about what i've done so far on this face i start by fixing my eyebrows i don't talk too much about this amazing product which is valentino is a trio bra i love it because you can have this pulley in one extreme the powder on the middle and the pencil which is a liquid with a calligraphic you know type of brush look at that okay the shade I'm been using is top and this product my friend is one of the most beautiful beautiful product to use for the natural finish you can get on your eyebrows and i can pass my bra setter the 24 hour gel setter from benefit cosmetic i follow by applying the beautiful primer from Cecily Paris. This is an instant and long term product. Okay, it's a double tensor. It's so smooth. It's so moisturizing. Doesn't dry your skin. It's not sticky neither, but provide an amazing coat of moisturization for the preparation of your skin for the foundation. So for my eyes, as you already know, I just invest recently in this product from Tom Ford, which is a traceless soft matte concealer. This is what I have right now. I didn't color correct my dark circle. Is a stick form. I was kind of a reluctant of buying this product for my only fact. As you already know as well, I have mature skin, okay? So when it says matte, okay, or soft matte, I in immediately understand, okay, it's going to have the tendency to dry or is creating mainly for people with oily skin, okay? So I've been trying this the third time. My friends, this melt like a butter on your eyes. 
the luminosity that this product is giving you to your eyes is stunning okay with a tiny little bit i love i, I can go a long way using and moving this concealer and i don't like if i can avoid the step of color correcting my eyes my friend i'm more than happy okay because color correcting is like a one more coat of product you are going to apply to your eyes so it's not a good thing sometimes you know and uh, because if you have mature skin and you have the tendency for your eyes to get dry easily um product you know when they say just matte is going to dry okay your skin but this product i know it is infused with natural ingredient like a hyaluronic acid along with another natural ingredient that pro provide you know an amazing moisturization to your delicate skin eye area i've been using it and it is becoming one of my favorite favorite product lately now for my foundation my friends i need to talk to you and i want to introduce you Claire de Paul. okay i know that many of you are really familiar with this brand Claire de Paul. for me it is a new product okay i order because since you know okay every single foundation depending on the brand is the shades you know uh, you are going to get you know on some product i use a two and another product like dior 2.5 and on la mer uh, is 220 so it's different so i need to use my find match i test last week Clé de Paul, the cushion foundation 020. Okay, uh, this is light medium ochre, extra radiant. Okay, hydrate dewy foundation with a very moist finish. When you hear the word moist, I know that many people with uh, oily skin can get the tendency to be scared, okay? But in this case, my love, when we say moist in a foundation, not necessarily is going to make your skin oily, okay? So moist, it is the meaning that is going to keep your skin in a very high hydrating state. So it's not, it's different from being oily, okay? Moisturization is that the product is producing a barrier in order to keep the moist your skin need through the day, you know, and not dehydrating the skin. No, it's O30 medium ochre. And the day before I use the O20 light medium ochre. I thought that the medium ochre was the light medium ochre was a tiny little bit lighter because on, as you understand it's summer this beautiful summer that i'm enjoying so much we are going to get tan even though if i'm not intentionally tanning but just going back and forth from the car you know the sun is hitting your face so you are going to get a little bit dark so for that purpose my friend i ordered this one okay that is one shade up from the o20 light medium ochre so it's the o30 medium ochre so you take the light information so since this is refillable you just push this when you want to change or you are running out of the product you just push this little box that is over relief and you just change your refill. A shield protector over there and you can see 
I just remove it. I know that look a little bit darker, but we are going to find out what this color is about and what is the difference between the light medium ochre and the medium ochre. So I'm going to try this new shade with you on camera using the applicator, but look how much it is on the shield. And I work my entire face with a little tiny bit of the product that was in the chill protector. You can go all day, my friends, with a tiny little bit of product I did apply to my face. And this is going to give you the sensation of silkiness. My skin is just priceless. Okay, one more time. Look how beautiful is the case how elegant you remove you open and it's extremely well protected I'm going to be working with Tom Ford using insolent rose These are the shades I just did apply the very light color on my entire eyelid. That is going to be that one is going to be my transition shade. Okay, my friends, I'm here. One eye is semi done <laughs> because I, I'm not done yet. Okay. So I'm starting mapping the eyeliner, the gel eyeliner, you know, on my waterline. If you have a problem, if the product transfer in this area of your eye, I really encourage you to start with the application a little bit upper. So when you are blinking, you are not going to transfer the product on the inner portion of your lower eye, eyelid, okay? If you have smaller eyes, my friends, I encourage you dearly and deeply to skip this step. If you are going to apply the gel eye pencil, do it very close to the lash line you can do it on the one third on the outer, but under your lash line, close to the lash line, not in the water line. So that is going to help you to open up the eye. So now with a precise brush, and I make sure I'm not going to leave a line, okay? I don't want any line any demarcation line of the black. As you see. So now using insolent rose, I love them. look brown, but you have no idea how much pink this have in it. Oh my God, what a gorgeous shade. It's a very easy um, makeup look, but like everything, do not require a beautiful blending. Now I'm going over this shade here. So I apply that color in between this, okay? To make a beautiful, beautiful transition. And always when you are working on this transition, friends, make sure 
you are not losing the intensity of this portion on the outer, okay? And now I'm going with an even lighter pink, okay? So I go with this pink on top. Look at that. Beautiful check. So this shade as well is helping me to have a better transition. So the rest is just to keep making the transition. And before applying the shimmer, I know what I'm going to do. I go with the lightest shade again. To the brow bone. So this other shade is helping me to even define even more this wing I'm creating. Coming with this to this shimmer type of glitter shade, okay? I really want to apply it with my finger the particles of this chain. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Friend, it's not to die for. This is exactly what I did in this other eye. When you look at the shade here, it's completely pink. Okay? Soft pink. But look what happened. Look at the metallic shade is it look like a softer icy soft pink are you understand okay even though if the makeup looks simple is it should require some work okay now going to this soft pink over here it is like a nude a soft pink shade I go again, connecting the shimmer. So the lightest shade you will see here is the one help me to transition with all the, the work I did. And this is the metallic dry wet shade, the very first one. With this flat dome brush, now I'm going very close to the lash line. This concealer, friend, is the most beautiful product. Look at this luminosity I'm getting. So now with Makeup Forever, I'm dipping softly. going to use Tom Ford mascara if you want to lengthen in your eyelashes start applying your product from the root okay the 
difference I noticed with this mascara from Tom Ford and the Gucci one. The Gucci doesn't produce the clumsiness on my eyelashes, okay? This one, even though it is lengthening as well, but make my eyelashes clumsy, thicker, and full. But as, not as long as I see it on the Gucci. From my beautiful Clé du Pau, the Cushion Radiant Foundation, my friends. Highly, highly recommended. If you are like me, look, even though you can see my natural redness, like a cheap red, but it's not blemishes. But definitely, friends, the blur of the pores than that product produce my skin even make it look like a porcelain, you know, it's just mesmerizing. Look for my lips, I have 03 Casablanca, like a, that mute mauve. I think I'm going with that one because I really want to finish with tone four. My friends, I did use the, I want to say Casablanca is the 03 from Tone 4. Is this shade the very last one? Because I think since we were using Insolent Rose eyeshadow palette, I think it, it is just stunning. For my blush, I don't own any blush from Tom Ford. Look. I'm going to use this one from Gucci 09 Intense Blum. Would you like for me to do some contour? Maybe no contour, but I we can add a tiny little bit of bronzing. Okay, this bronze is from Tom Ford. Is the zero two Terra? Okay. So I'm going to use Scott Barn, the brush number sixty-seven, and I'm going to apply the bronze. see boom I'm not contouring my face today look the motion I use for the application to don't disturb okay the product that is underneath the room, my friends this product is so beautiful. Every time that I use it, friends, oh my gosh. And I'm looking at the mirror in front of me, okay, for the, this application. I love this brush, it's massive. But I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. Okay, so the 02 Terra, and using the brush number 67 from Scott Barnes. Using the 09 Intense Plum blush from my amazing Gucci. I'm going to apply it very high. What a beautiful shade! This one from Gucci, 09 Intense Plum. I'm going to be listing 
and linking every single of the product I use for today. Makeup look. And the brush I use for the blush from Scott Barnes is the 64. But you know what I'm going to do? Now it's going to be all about Tom Ford and Claire Dupont because of the foundation, okay? The cushion foundation. I'm going to apply Tom Ford Soleil, Soleil de Faux, okay? Which is the summer collection. Highlighter, I got Oasis. So I'm going to apply it with my fingers. It's extremely metallic. So let me apply. Look at that. So I'm going to make it very noticeable since it's highlighter, it's not highly pigmented, okay? That is what it is. So with my finger, And I'm going to carefully apply a tiny little bit on this area. Look, just, can you see? Look what I'm going to do now. This look friends. And I'm lifting my head so you can see the effect on the lips. I did create a very soft lip liner with my Make Forever Artist Color Pencil. 909 is whatever walnut is very very natural once and you apply it look at that just to give a tiny little bit of a structure to your lips you can find me on TikTok, facebook and instagram um, i have all the link on my videos if you ever are interested you can go to my page over there i'm always posting reels little charts, you know, when I'm in the process of my work. I really hope that you enjoy this beautiful, beautiful result of the product performance formulation, pigmentation, and the beautiful dry wet formula as we are used with Tone 4. So I'm going to be linking every single of the product, my videos, our film 4k time thank you so much don't forget to subscribe to my channel i say bye for now i'm going to be taking some pictures for you if you are interested on this beautiful makeup look i'm going to be speed up with the process of the editing because i'm the editor as well so thank you so much and see you very soon bye